Hello everyone. In today's video, we will talk about different mistakes that English speakers make. So the first mistake we'll talk about today is the use of everyone. If we say every one of those people have to go now, this sentence is wrong. The correct way is every one of those people has to go now. So we say everyone is, not everyone are. The second common mistake is when adjectives are used instead of adverbs and vice versa. For example, he speaks English very good is wrong. The correct sentence is he speaks English very well. Well is an adverb and good is an adjective. For those who do not know what adverbs or adjectives are, I will make a video in the future about both terms and the difference between them as well. One of the mistakes native speakers make is the use of double negatives. This is very common, especially in America. If you say, I don't have no money to spend, is wrong. The correct sentence is, I don't have any money to spend. So yes, you might hear it in movies, so don't just repeat anything or everything that you hear. It might be grammatically wrong. Now, this one is a little bit tricky, so pay attention. One mistake that English speakers make is when they forget to use a subjunctive mood. What do you mean by subjunctive mood? It is the verb form used to explore a hypothetical situation or to express a wish, demand or a suggestion. I'll give you an example. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. Now remember that where, W-E-R-E, -E, is used for these personal pronouns. They, you and we. We were happy, they were perfect, you were amazing. However, English speakers might say, if I was you, I wouldn't do that, which is wrong. The correct sentence is, if I were you, because it is a hypothetical situation. Now, what about expressing a wish, demand or suggestion? If you say, it is important that he sees a doctor, that is actually wrong. The correct sentence is, it is important that he see a doctor. If you say also, I demand he speaks politely, is wrong. The correct way to say it is, using the subjunctive mood, as in, I demand he speak politely. I remember. Saying, I wish it was real, is wrong. The correct phrase is, I wish it were real. Now, sometimes there are certain verbs that English speakers misuse, like the verbs lie and lay. Now, this can be a little bit confusing, so listen carefully. Lie is an intransitive verb, which means a verb that doesn't need a direct object. To understand intransitive verbs, you need to understand the transitive verb. I'll give you an example. If I say, Please bring coffee. Bring here is a transitive verb. Why? Because it needs an object, which is coffee. I can't say please bring and stop. I need to ask bring what or who to finish the sentence and give an object. So this is called transitive. Now for intransitive verbs, it is the opposite. They are verbs that don't need an, a direct object. For example, he slept or she ate. We don't need an object here. Coming back to the verb lie, we need to ask what. Example, if I say, let's lay on the bed is wrong. Now look at the spelling, please. The correct way to say it is, let's lie on the bed. The other verb is lay, which is an intransitive verb. It needs an object. We say, let's lay down the books. Just a reminder, lay means to place or to put down. Its past tense is laid, its past participle is laid as well. Now lie means to lie down or rest. And it actually has a lot of meanings, but we generally use it in these contexts. Its past tense is lay, its past participle is lain. So be careful how to use these two verbs. Lie and lay are two verbs that can prove English is a phonetic language. This is all for today. Stay safe. Peace.